The Prophet wasallam said, the people will face a time of patience at which holding on to or adhering to your religion will be like holding on to hot coal or burning coal. What we see today is oppression has spread throughout the world, especially against Muslims. Leading on from Islamophobia, Muslims throughout the world are being penalized and being threatened. And in some cases, their even physical harm has occurred. So this alludes to the fact that we are currently living in oppression and tyranny. And this is the time where the Prophet ﷺ alluded to that during the time of oppression and tyranny will come the time of Imam al-Mahdi. So the question now remains, the situation that we see in Kashmir, the situation that we see in India, the situation that we see in Palestine today, will the Muslim Ummah rise to the occasion? Will the Muslim leaders come up to the world stage and can they do anything about it? Well, in this forum, we have been discussing about Muhammad Qasim's dreams and how they're leading to the world war, Ghazwa Hin and the coming of Dajjal. So according to Muhammad Qasim's streams, what he has seen is that Israel does activity in Palestine and he has seen widespread violence and destruction happening in the Palestinian lands. Muhammad Qasim says that Muslims protest throughout the world, but they're not able to do anything about it. And soon after this, a temple is created, a temple for Dajjal, which could be the third temple. And following the establishment of this temple, there is a storm that comes out and envelops the entire Muslim countries in the Arabic lands. What Muhammad Qasim has then seen is that Muslim countries in the Arab lands, they get destroyed after this temple is built and the storm that comes out of it. This is symbolic to the fact that the third temple, which we already know and I have discussed in previous videos, is the temple that according to Jewish belief will bring their final Messiah.